if you are experienced in one of these profiles, you, your chances to land a job here in Germany right now are very, very good. Welcome back everyone to our YouTube channel. We want to talk with you today about the growing importance of security, IT security. Why is it an important and um, growing um, market? Yeah, first of all, because there are news, uh, more cyber security attacks all over the world. I mean, that's not new, but what is and especially interesting, the European Union just came out with a new directive, the NIST 2 directive, um, which, uh, will, which enforces more companies to have a severe cyber security um, implemented, structure implemented in their company. And, and uh, until when? This is, I think, important because it started already uh, in 2000, uh, last year, 23. Yeah. It needs to be implemented until... October. And October this year, right? Exactly. Okay. So it's an update of an existing uh, directive which was uh, initially um, came out 2016 and now the new directive, the NIST 2 directive, came out and this has to be implemented Uh, by October 2024 and um, so that means that companies are looking right now for you yeah they need to staff they need to prepare themselves to have a security IT security um, and their complete infrastructure secured until end of October exactly yeah? Be because this new um, NIST 2 um, initiative uh, means there is uh, a broader scope, like more sectors are included. They have to have a um, proper cybersecurity um, uh, implemented in their company. Um, more companies have to be it. There's uh, there are more companies are under compliance. And also more sectors are affected, like this energy sector, the transportation sector, healthcare sector, digital um, infrastructure, and so on and so forth. So all critical, very important sector, which are at the end, almost every every company. Huh? Exactly. So that means cybersecurity um, experts, be it um, blue team, be it red team, penetration testers. Active directory. Be, No matter what, all kind of cybersecurity experts are needed in Europe and especially Germany um, from now on and then in the next years. Um, because those companies, again, need to enhance their cybersecurity frameworks. Um, um, that also includes, of course, like risk management, cybersecurity operations, um, incidents reporting, compliance, and so on and so forth. So, in short, what do those stricter security requirements mean? Um, it means there needs to be an advanced security, um, there are advanced security measures needed, there is a more rigorous incidence reporting, and of course, a continuous monitoring and advanced threat detection. Beyond October 2024. Exactly. And obviously, um, cyber threat is not a local phenomena, phenoma. that means global opportunities, right? Um, Correct. And um, when it comes to different roles, huh, it really means we've talked about red team, blue team, yeah, but also the, the security analysts, um, different types of security consultants, um, compliance officers, and so on and so on. The security market is, or the, in overall, the um, security industry is so diverse. And there are so many different profiles. I think we can also talk about it in some upcoming videos to structure that a bit more. But it's important to really understand that if you are experienced in one of these profiles, you, your chances to land a job here in Germany right now are very, very good. Yeah, and we were speaking about global opportunities. We just had one of our coaches, he's from um, uh, Sri Lanka, And uh, he got an offer with a, with a big traditional company here in uh, Germany. And his role is actually to manage on the, on, on the one side um, parts of the cybersecurity um, strategies here in Germany, but also for the Asian business. Mm -hmm. So he's traveling, but he's relocating to Germany to stay here, but he has to um, fly back and forth to Asia regularly, regularly as well um, to help them um, yeah, to, to, to work on their strategies in Asia. Raul, what does it mean for if you're a cybersecurity engineer and you want to work in Germany, what should you do? 
So if you want to come and work here, I think the best thing is to contact us and we, we are happy to assess your profile, see if you really fit into one of these roles we just talked about and then we can start to position you accordingly, um, structure your profile, get you past the different interview rounds as well and then um, you are here within the next three months. Exactly. Thanks for watching. Um, if you found this interesting, watch our video training, which you find below this video. Get in touch with us. We're going to assess your profile, and as Rose said, we're going to work with you. And um, hopefully, then you have an offer in the next two to three months, and you will be coming to Germany. See you soon. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye bye. Take care.